from Las Vegas, Fox 5 News at 10 starts now. A suspected carjacker leads police on a chase in a stolen vehicle and in a cop car when he tried to get out of the patrol vehicle before being shot by police. It's another weekend of wild weather, rain, flooding, even hail in parts of the valley. Now the forecast is looking for Mother's Day. Plus, Powerball dreams shattered for all but one, where the winning ticket was sold. This is Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas. A suspected carjacker was shot by police after ditching a stolen vehicle and jumping in a cop car. I'm Elizabeth Watts. Thanks for joining us tonight. Fox Eyes Abby Tedros joins us live from Durango in Washington. This is where the chase ended to tell us more on what happened overnight. Abby. Good evening, Elizabeth. It really doesn't get much more brazen than this. A witness tells us that a man pulled a gun on a mother of three, took her car. Then once police stopped him, he led them on a foot chase. Then once he got the opportunity, he got into the patrol car, then took off. I heard uh, first three rapid fire shots, boom, 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 just like that. This normally quiet neighborhood near Buffalo and Washington was flooded with police yeah. after a Metro officer fired shots at a suspected carjacker. It's scary. It's, you just don't know what to expect anymore. This woman was too terrified to go on camera, but she told Fox 5 she's the one that called the cops after a man with a gun stole her neighbor's 2016 Chevy Malibu. The victim told her about the terrifying experience. The woman pulled into her garage, turned off her engine, then opened her door. That's when the gunman came out of nowhere, held her at gunpoint. She took her kids out of the car. He got in, then sped off. We see this stuff on the news all the time. You know, across town, you hear these stories, these crazy stories happening, but you don't expect it to hit so close. Authorities found 27-year-old Jamal Gwynn in the stolen car a block away at Copper Palms Apartments. Police say he wouldn't cooperate and later engaged in a foot chase. The suspect then got into a patrol car and tried to get a hold of a shotgun inside. At which time the officer responded by firing shots. The officer attempted to move to a position of cover. The vehicle court came towards the officer and the officer responded again by firing shots. Wounded, the suspect managed to take off in the patrol car, taking parts of the apartment gate with him. He came to a stop a few short blocks away near Durango and Washington. And the neighbor tells us that thankfully the victim was uninjured. She also was able to get her car back today with a few dents and also asked for Gwyn, the suspect. He is being treated at UMC for non-life-threatening injuries. And once he is relieved, he will be booked into the Clark County Detention Center for charges related to this incident. For now, I'm Abby Tedros, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Abby, thank you. And this is Metro 6, the officer involved shooting so far this year. A hit and run driver is wanted after a deadly crash in North Las Vegas. It happened around 530 in the morning near Simmons and Cheyenne. Police say a GMC Yukon ran a red light and slammed into a Dodge Dakota. The driver of the truck was thrown out. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but later died from his injuries. Police say the people in the GMC Yukon took off on foot. No arrests have been made. To the weather now, the morning started out sunny, but then rolled in the thunderstorms. Parts of the valley were hit with some rain this afternoon. Here's a look at flooding near Sunset Station over on Stephanie and Warm Springs. It was pounding down out there. The water caused traffic to back up for part of the afternoon. Viewers also sent us videos of hail falling in parts of Henderson. And after the storm, you sent us pictures of this beautiful double rainbow. We had a panorama picture of it over the West Gate, sent in by Fran. Another shot of it over the Rio, downtown Las Vegas, and Mountain's Edge area. Just gorgeous shots out there. And the valley has started to dry out, but there is a chance for more rain for Mother's Day. Cassandra Jones is in for less tonight. She has a first look at weather. Hi, Cassandra. Hey, Elizabeth. I know we got to see it all today. Thunder, lightning, even some small hail out there. As of right now, we are drying things out. We're still holding on to a slight chance of showers overnight tonight, but you can see a much calmer picture currently compared to what we were dealing with earlier this morning and early this afternoon. Pretty impressive rainfall totals. Also with this system, you can see the west side of the valley getting the bulk of the action here with portions of uh, look right near 215 in Town Center, almost a half of an inch of rainfall near Sam Boyd Stadium, 
just over a half of an inch with several locations seeing just trace amounts. So these storm systems were very scattered in nature with those isolated thunderstorms. And currently we are sitting at 60 degrees out there this evening, mostly cloudy skies, finally getting a chance to dry out with wind speeds out of the northeast at three miles an hour. Slight chances will stick with us overnight tonight, even as we head on into Mother's Day. But it looks like the bulk of the rain is out of here for now. Again, slight chances for our Mother's Day. And again, we were received so many of your pictures on Facebook. We're going to be airing some throughout the broadcast and also we're going to be tracking uh, some sunshine and finally some seasonable weather as we head on into the next work week. We're looking at mid to upper 90s. I'll be breaking it all down for you coming up in just a little bit. But for now, send back over to the news desk with Elizabeth. Sandra, thank you. And it is all about spoiling moms tomorrow and spending maybe close to a record this year. The National Retail Federation expects consumers to shell out nearly $21.5 billion this year. It will fall just short of last year's record, two and a half rather. Each person will spend around $172 on Mother's Day, whether it's special outings, flowers, jewelry, or electronics. That is slightly down from last year's holiday. And speaking of money, one winning ticket was sold in New Jersey for a Powerball jackpot worth nearly $430 million. Just one ticket. The winning numbers 5, 25, 26, 44, and 66. The Powerball was 9. Another ticket in San Jose matched five of six numbers to win more than two, more than a million dollars. And the last time the jackpot was this high was in January. It soared to more than one and a half billion dollars, the largest in U.S. history ever. If the winner opts for the lump sum option this time around, they will walk around with $270 million. Break out the fancy hats for the two, for the most exciting two minutes of sports. They're coming to the line together. Nyquist wins the Kentucky Derby in Louisville. The three-year-old Colt extends his unbeaten streak to eight. More than 20 horses compete in the run for the Roses. Sportsbooks around the Valley say Nyquist was an overwhelming favorite. His, his odds of winning two to one. There was a large turnout at the Westgate Las Vegas Superbook for this one. We had another exciting race uh, for the Kentucky Derby. I mean, the, the atmosphere is just so electric here. You know, we got a lot of people that come in for this race, and we have most of them only bet one race a year, and it's this race. And uh, that's exactly what happened. The horse is named after a Swedish hockey player. It's owned by a diehard Detroit Red Wings fan. Hundreds of thousands of spectators came out to watch the race. It was the second highest attendance the Derby has seen after last year. CCSD is showing their favorite educators some love with the perfect finale to Teacher Appreciation Week. The first ever Heart of Education Awards was held at the Smith Center today. More than 800 teachers were nominated for their commitment to education in the Valley. Special recognition was given to 20 teachers who all received checks for $5,000. There's a red carpet arrival and live performances by Las Vegas headliners Frankie Marino and Clint Holmes. Teachers matter. We really want to get the story out that there's more to Teacher Appreciation Week, right? We all should stop for a moment and thank a teacher for helping our kids. Those nominated walked away with a teacher swag bag valued at over $1,000 each. There was also a surprise giveaway to five principals who earned $5,000 gifts for their work. The Foothill High School Band is getting ready to perform in Pasadena for the 2017 Tournament of Roses. But before they leave, they're putting all their effort into fundraising for the trip. It costs about 800 bucks for each kid to go. Yesterday, the band held a rose run where they marched five and a half miles around the school track, the same distance as the parade. Today, they held a rose gala at Lake Las Vegas to raise money and celebrate at the same time. We have a, a silent auction going with some really fantastic items that have been donated to us from the community. Um, uh, the, what you hear in the background right now is a, is a jazz quartet of, of some of those students are, are Foothill graduates. Uh, the Tournament of Roses president and his wife attended the gala. There were also appearances by Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman and Henderson Mayor Andy Hafen. A link to the band's fundraising page can be found on fox5vegas.com if you'd like to help out. Coming up, Las Vegas is up to par for golfers around the nation. What they could expect at this year's Golf Fest and who attempted to break a Guinness World Record at the event. Plus, helping a good cause takes a new height. How much Slotzilla hopes to raise for their charity challenge to help those fighting breast cancer.
And later in sports, a TKO in tonight's first big sporting event at the T-Mobile Arena. Who won in Canelo versus Khan?